Optimal News presents Rhinos. Save the rhinos. The death of the last male northern white rhino may mean probable extinction for the subspecies, but scientists are working on a plan to save them. Sudan, the world's last male northern white rhino, died in Kenya on Monday, leaving only two females, neither of which have been able to carry a pregnancy to term. The best plan to carry on the species is through in vitro fertilization, using eggs extracted from the surviving females and stored sperm from dead males. The fertilized egg would be implanted in a surrogate southern white rhino, the species' closest living relative, which would carry the calf to term. If successful, scientists hope to use the procedure to create a herd of 5 to 15 rhinos that would eventually be returned to their natural habitat. With the IVF method costing as much as 9 million US dollars, conservationists hope to raise enough money and implement it before it's too late. Rare Sumatran Rhino Gives Birth An endangered rhino has given birth and it was caught on camera. The 14-year-old rhino named Ratu gave birth at the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Indonesia. The video begins with the rhino prepping for delivery. Ratu actually has experience in this area. She gave birth to her first calf in 2012. The male named Andatu was the first rhino birth in captivity in Indonesia in 124 years. Then the video cuts to... Yep, that's what a rhino looks like being born. Surprisingly purple. According to the International Rhino Foundation, the female calf weighed in at 45 pounds, or 20 kilograms, and looks healthy and active. Only an estimated 100 Sumatran rhinos remain, mostly on the island of Sumatra, and several are in captivity. The birth is a significant success for efforts to save the endangered species. Congrats, Ratu! Last male northern white rhino is looking for love. Biologist Daniel Schneider tweeted this photo with the caption, Want to know what extinction looks like? This is the last male northern white rhino. The last, nevermore. Sudan is one of the three northern white rhinos left in existence. The other two are his 23-year-old daughter, Najin, and his 17-year-old granddaughter, Fatu. In 2009, the rhinos moved to the Old Pachata Conservancy in Kenya from the Czech Republic in hopes that being in their natural habitat would help them breed. Unfortunately, neither of the females can naturally reproduce, and Sudan has almost no little swimmers left. White rhinos can live to 50 years old, but most of them kick the can at around 40. Sudan is 43, so the clock is ticking in overtime. There still may yet be hope. Conservationists are trying to raise 1 million US dollars for fertilization techniques with a GoFundMe campaign called Make a Rhino. Sudan is also being proactive about the situation, which is probably why he joined Tinder in April. Swipe right. UK scientists using IVF method to save northern white rhino. With less than a handful of northern white rhinos left on Earth, a team of UK scientists at a British zoo will try to save the species using a procedure never previously attempted. The three remaining northern white rhinos are under round-the-clock protection at a conservation site in Kenya. There are two females and one elderly male. Due to fertility issues, the females are unable to conceive offspring naturally. As an alternative, sperm will be extracted from the male and eggs from the females. Using the in vitro fertilization method, any fertilized eggs will be implanted in a group of female southern white rhinos, a closely related subspecies, to be brought to term. If this proves unsuccessful, scientists will combine the northern white rhino's sperm with the eggs of the southern white rhinos, in the hope a crossbred embryo will result. In advance of experimenting with northern white rhino samples, the IVF technique will first be tested using southern white rhino sperm and eggs. 
Treating an embryo outside a rhino has never been done before. If the scientists in England are able to pull this off, it would theoretically mark the first step to reviving the species from the very brink of extinction. The northern white rhino population has been decimated in recent years due to hunting and poaching for its horns. Poachers sneak into zoo and saw off white rhino's horn. A young male white rhino at a zoo just outside of Paris suffered a gruesome death in a place where he was thought to be safe. The night of March 6th, poachers broke into the Thori Zoo through the rear entrance and made their way to the white rhino enclosure. There, they found four-year-old Vince, who had arrived at the zoo from the Netherlands in 2015. Without wasting any time, they put three bullets in Vince's head, slaying the massive animal. The poachers then used a chainsaw to saw off Vince's horn, which is potentially worth up to $60,000 on the black market. The poachers began to hack off the dead rhino's second horn, but didn't finish the job, either due to mechanical failure or a disturbance of some kind. The two other white rhinos at the zoo, 37-year-old Gracie and 5-year-old Bruno, managed to escape the same bloody fate. This is believed to be the first time a rhino has been attacked and killed at a zoo in Europe. Rhino horns are coveted for traditional Asian medicines as they are said to act as an aphrodisiac. There are only an estimated 21,000 white rhinos remaining on Earth. Rhino chases villagers through southern Nepal town after escaping wildlife reserve. Nepali crowds in Hatata ran for their lives Monday, scattering and climbing balconies to evade a wild rhinoceros that had escaped from a wildlife reserve. The Parsa Wildlife Reserve in southern Nepal reportedly has no fences, so the enormous one-horned rhino made the 12-ish mile journey to a town in the Makwanpur district. Villagers scrambled to get out of the animal's path and then naturally posted videos to social media. Several videos show the rhino, which can run up to 34 miles per hour, chasing down motorists. Efforts to scare the rhino off with car honks and drums didn't work. An unconfirmed report say at least one woman died and six others were injured. If only this were just a scene from Jumanji. Zookeeper injured after being trampled by rhino. A zookeeper who was seriously injured after getting trampled by a two-ton rhino at the Whipsnade Zoo is in stable condition after surgery. It is believed the zookeeper in his 50s was feeding the animals inside the Asian rhino enclosure when a greater one-horned rhino, believed to be named Ajang, suddenly turned on him. Ajang trampled, gored, and stamped on the keeper before leaving him immersed in a wallowing pool. Colleagues rushed to his aid and found him immersed in water and helped him out. The keeper was treated at the scene by paramedics for injuries to his chest, abdomen, and pelvis before being transported to the hospital. An investigation is underway to find out what happened. Doctors said he is now out of surgery and his condition is stable. The long-standing debate on gun control in the U.S. has taught us one thing. Nothing will come between an American and his God-given constitutional right to shoot things, even if that thing is more than 8,000 kilometers away in Namibia. And so it came to pass that the Dallas Safari Club this week auctioned off the rights to shoot an endangered black rhino for a whopping $350,000. That's right, I said endangered. Back in the 1960s, there were 70,000 of them there, black rhinos roaming wild around the African savanna. Now there's just 4,000. Thanks to the auction, that number's set to fall even further. Animal welfare activists, however, are predictably not happy. And the Safari Club and the auction organizers have received death threats. But they persevered, saying that the money raised will go to help preserve the species. And let's face it, money is badly needed to repel the onslaught from hordes of voracious rhino horn consuming Chinese and Vietnamese. The hunt also claims that the rhino targeted is old and non-breeding and are likely to be targeted for removal anyway. But just imagine how you would feel if that logic was applied to humans <laughs> and to your own family. 